Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. I want you guys to hear something and then I'm going to get my assessment of the situation like I always do. And then I'm going to break down something and explain something to you guys very thoroughly. So just take a listen and a revelation will be revealed at the end of this video before I conclude the video. So check this out. All right. So apparently what we got going on here, which is something that we've been seeing a lot these past couple of years with, we're not going to call it passport bro or passport sis. We're going to call it plane ticket bro or plane ticket sis. And what I mean by that is just when two people meet online or whatever, or they may meet in another city like Las Vegas or Atlanta or something. And then they, you know, try to keep in contact with each other. And then basically they agree to fly to whoever's um, city is. And then one person in all likelihood foots the bill for the plane ticket. And then basically when this person comes to this prospective person's uh, city, well, you know, they supposed to hang out and get down and do what adults do. And then they find themselves in a pickle when this man or woman comes to their city comes to their crib and then basically they don't want to put out. She don't want to give up no P or he don't want to give up no D. So my thing is with this, I want to say this to, I, I'm going to make this a co-ed video. At the end of the day, y'all are adults. Gotta be. Cause in all likelihood, he lives by himself. She lives by herself. At the end of the day, if somebody telling you to fly to wherever from Oakland to Chicago or to, you know, Chicago to Detroit or New York to, you know, Houston, in all likelihood, if he or she is going to foot the bill for your plane ticket to come to their city and hang out. You already know the the assignment. You know what's going down, what he or she is expected to get. So I don't know why you go there and play these games like you don't know what the assignment is. But if you want to play stupid, I'm going to say this to, you know, all the, you know, plane ticket bros and plane ticket sis, you know, the plane ticket brothers and the plane ticket sisters. If, if these... You know, dudes or chicks want to play these type of games. You need to say straight up. All right, check this out. Check this out. If I'm going to pay for you to come out here and spend the weekend or spend the week at my house, um, you know, I'm going to be expecting, you know what I'm saying, some D. You know what I'm saying? If you a chick and if you, you know what I'm saying? If you a, a dude, you're going to be expecting some, you know, some P. And you need to just say that flat out. 
So therefore, they can't come there and try to play stupid and then try to play this. Oh, my God. You think of me like that? I mean, come on. I mean, come on. Can we can we be real with this? What what I mean, if that's the case, they're not flying you out there to, you know, participate in Bible study <laughs> or for you to help them move furniture or redecorate the house. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I mean, at the end of the day, you come across as you just trying to use somebody for a free free trip out of town and stuff. And then here's the thing, though. That's not wise. You in somebody's town, town and whatnot, and if you ain't familiar with that 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 particular place, and they basically put you out, then what? Some ain't gonna be nice enough to let you stay that day, that night, and say, okay, in the morning I'm taking you back to the airport. Some will be like, all right, you need to leave right now. So I highly recommend you don't play those type of games because at the end of the day, it's just childish and it's just stupid. You know what's up. It ain't no way I'm flying, you know what I'm saying, somebody gonna fly me from, you know, what, whatever the case may be, Oakland to, you know, Philadelphia or whatever, Oakland, to, you know, New Jersey or whatever, or Oakland to um, Dallas. I already know what the chick is expected, so, you know what I'm saying, it don't have to be discussed. I'm not gonna go there and play stupid. <laughs> you know what he or she wants <laughs> that's just real talk so for you to just go there and then play stupid and try to act like you're you're practicing celibacy and all that kind of stuff that's just like that's just like playing dumb you just basically playing games and you deserve to get kicked out you deserve to get stranded in the streets or you deserve to get took back to the airport and if you'll you know and if your plane doesn't arrive for two or three days that's on you you can't try to play victim and try to say, oh, I can't believe he or she's treat me like this because I didn't want to give up the DRP. Come on, cut the shit. And that's just real. That's just real talk. Y'all already know what's up. So don't play no games. That's a stupid game to play with, with, with a dude or a chick like that. All right. For real. It's not wise. And then based off the fact you don't know what type of dude or chick you dealing with. You don't know who they affiliated with. How how do you know they won't make a phone call and then you ne next to you know some sh you know some shit happening? So I highly recommend you don't know, play those type of games. So let me know what you you know think about this because this is a very teachable moment. But I will reveal something. I know these two people. These two people are from Detroit, and you will see them in a lot of Tubi movies that take place in Detroit. They're from the Detroit area. So I I recognize the girl and I recognize the dude. You know, the girl, if you listen to one of my past videos, she's the girl that's basically talking to the dude who said he'll die for the pussy. <laughs> but, but that's her. So I, I recognize them when I looked at the at the at the video but it was it was cool though i i guess they was doing a skit but it is a teachable moment even from skits you can learn stuff so there you have it but anyway this is your boy town biz i'm out but for real though for all intents and purposes don't play them kind of games real talk i'm out